Hey, hey, how's it going, friends? My name is Rock Lupitan, and in this video, we're going to be reviewing Bluehost's web hosting services. So pay close attention because it's going to be an in-depth uh, overview of the pros and cons of using Bluehost services. So stay tuned. All right, so in this Bluehost review, we're going to be going over their several packages and plans that they have. I'm also gonna go over site speed. I'm also gonna go over key features within the dashboard and also the bonuses and the pros and cons of getting involved in using Bluehost services. So let's go to my computer really quick. I'm gonna go over that in a short bit. All right, friends, so here we are at Bluehost's website. And as you can see, Right here, their basic package is on sale for $3.95 a month, normally it's $7.99. And for you to get that price, the Bluehost packages are paid uh, annually. So you could get a 12, 24, or 36 month package. And with that in mind, when you do get the package, you do get a free domain, a free site builder, and you're able to actually install WordPress with one click uh, through their cPanel. And as you can see here in the very bottom, they're actually the number one recommended hosting website by WordPress itself, which is actually a really big deal, uh, mainly because of, of how trustworthy they are. Also, with my opinion, you know, whenever I have issues with Bluehost, I just contact their support, uh, either through their call center or through their chat lines, and I haven't really had a, an issue with them. And also by joining Bluehost, you do get up to $150 in, um, an actual ad credit so you can use it in google bing and other services as well so now let's talk about the plan all you have to do is click here and get started now and let's go over their shared hosting plan so they have three packages with their shared hosting plans they have the basic plus and prime packages and the key differences between those is that with the basic versus the plus and prime you have one website that you could host through that package versus unlimited websites that you could actually host through that package uh, with the basic plan you do get capped though with 50 gigs but with all three packages the bandwidth is unmetered so if you don't know what that means that basically means that the amount of traffic that you bring in is not capped when you're hosted with bluehost now when you get hosted with other companies you may get capped with a certain number like 20,000 to 100,000 people on the actual bandwidth. And uh, overall, in my experience, you know, I haven't really had an issue with Bluehost bandwidth issues. So overall, I do use uh, Bluehost services for my own marketing funnels uh, when I bring in traffic and I haven't really had an issue. Uh, other than that, with the basic package, you do get one included domain. You can park up to five domains through Bluehost and you could have up to 25 subdomains. So if you plan on making other WordPress installs, you could have up to 25 uh, subdomain installs as well. Or you could just install it under the same, uh, under the same uh, domain and just have a different subdirectory. And then with the basic plan, you do get five different email accounts and you can get up to 100 megabytes per account. And then with the plus and prime, it's pretty much the same as it goes, the only difference is you do get uh, these three things right here, which is Spam Experts, Domain Privacy, Insight Backup Pro at the actual um, Prime package. And at the moment, I would highly recommend either to get Plus or Prime. And as you can see, Plus and Prime are the same price. So you're pretty much getting Site Backup Pro, Domain Privacy, and Spam Experts for free in your first year. So if you don't know what these are, Spam Experts basically is kind of like with WordPress where it's um, Akismet. So a lot of the times there's a lot of spam bots out there that will actually spam your blog or spe uh, specifically like comments on your blog with spam experts that helps basically deflect any type of spam that comes in to your website. And then with domain privacy, this is your DNS privacy or your Whois privacy. You also get that for free with that, this package, unless you already have a domain through like Namecheap or somewhere else, then that's free from that uh, other servers but if you don't have a website and you plan on doing it that's also a good thing to look at and then with site backup pro basically what this is is uh, i believe every day or every week it actually backs up your website so if anything happens you just go to this app and then it will actually pull up that backup file of your actual website from the past or through um, an archive of um, saves that they've had with your website so that's pretty much the basic plans with Bluehost. All right, so now we are here at gtmetrics.com and I already analyzed my own websites 
web speed and as you can see over here the very bottom left at page speed score it scored at 91 percent and normally the average page speed score for most websites is 71 percent and then if you look at the load time my website loaded at 3.4 seconds and then if you look at the average loaded time for most of these websites is eight seconds so uh, as you can see here the test server region was in vancouver canada and i'm based in texas so this is pretty quick so pretty much anywhere that my website's loaded up it's it's fairly quick which is why i use bluehost services All right, so now we are inside Bluehost's actual dashboard. And as you can see here, you do get marketing tools. So you could utilize their own SEO programs. You could use their own um, autoresponder called Constant Contact. And you could also get up to, oh, it's actually $250 worth of bonuses. So you can actually get uh, Google AdWords credit, Bing credit, and WooThemes credit. So you can get a free WordPress theme or a free e-commerce theme uh, on your actual website and then over here you have your email section so you could actually create your email account here through uh, your own custom domain and then for website builders you could use Weebly or other uh, website builders through your website manager or you can install WordPress but if you want to install WordPress in one click if you're not very tech savvy you can go over here where it says one click install and then over here for files, depending on what you get. So for example, one of my clients uh, got Site Backup Pro. So they got the Prime package on the hosting package so they're able to get the Site Backup Pro. So if anything happens to their website and everything's archived so they can go back a day or a week or a month or whatever's archived from then to actually look up their, their backup files. And then with site lock, this just pretty much prevents um, you know, any type of uh, any type of spammers or any type of uh, you know like hackers trying to get into the website. So that's also a, a, a definitely a good add-on product with Bluehost. And that's pretty much it. So this is what the shared hosting uh, dashboard looks like. All right, and of course, last but not least, if you don't know. Uh, anything about Bluehost, if you go to their about page, you could actually see that they were founded in 2003. They are based in Orem, Utah, and they power upwards to 2 million websites worldwide, and they have a team of around 750 people inside the company. Also, if you don't know this, they're actually part of this massive group called Endurance International Group. So the company was bought out in 2010, and if you actually look at their site, Endurance International Group actually owns some of the biggest hosting companies and domain and site building companies out there. So they own Bluehost, they own HostGator, iPage, SiteBuilder.com, Domain.com, and Mojo Marketplace and other apps as well. And of course, with every company, you know, every huge company out there, they're going to have their own pitfalls. And you know, to be honest with me, I've I haven't really had any bad experiences with Bluehost, but of course I want to be transparent with the company and I'm going to show a few things where they've had some downtime. So as you can see here in 2013, they had some, um, some actual server issues and you know, Bluehost is pretty transparent about it. So they're actually going to post their content. And with this, they were also down right about a year ago where they were down for around 12 hours but in all actuality you know with, with bluehost they have a 99 percent uh uptime on their website so i mean if you're just starting out that's not really going to have an issue with you i mean for me personally i haven't had issues with them so you know i can't have complaints and if i did have issues with them i wouldn't be promoting them so with that in mind those are just some things to look at with bluehost and hopefully you got a lot out of this bluehost review all right, my friends, I really appreciate you for watching this video. If, if you do believe that Bluehost is the right option for you, feel free to click the links below or click at the YouTube cards above or click at the link at the end of the video. And with that in mind, if you want more content like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And also, if you want to learn more about internet marketing and building your own brand, feel free to go over the links below in the description as well because I do have a free course for you where it goes full detail on how to utilize internet marketing and how to monetize the internet. So with that in mind, I appreciate you for watching the video and I will see you on the next one.